Do your friends always see you? See what you're going through? Maybe some days you just look happy but inside you are not. Do people notice that? Or do they kind of just pass by you? How are you? I'm good. Okay, I'm fine. Do you always notice? Is everybody around you okay? Or is just somebody just looks okay but inside they are not? Your friends, your mom, your dad, your brother or sister? You know, one day Abu Huraira, who was a companion of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, was very, very hungry. So hungry, he said, it's like his stomach was sticking to his back. Some days he used to get so hungry that he would tie a stone on his belly, just trying to make it feel like there's something in it, and there wasn't. So one day he was so hungry, he just went and sat by the road, hoping that maybe somebody would notice him sitting there and invite him for a meal. They will notice how hungry he is and get invite him for a meal. So he was sitting on the side of the road, and guess who he sees coming? Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu is coming. That's it, you know. He's the man. He's so generous. He's going to invite me, and I'm gonna get have a meal, inshallah. So he sees that him coming. And but Abu Bakr Adilan is going by. He said, "Okay, you know, I'm gonna go and ask him a question. Then surely even notice while he's talking to me that I'm hungry. So he just goes and asks him a question. Abu Bakr Adilan who answers his question and goes away. He doesn't notice that how hungry Abu Hanaira Adilan. Obviously, it wasn't that obvious, and he didn't want to beg anybody. You can see that he didn't want to beg anybody. So he was just hoping somebody would notice." So then he was like, "Oh no! The only reason I asked the question was so he notices me, but he didn't." So he's kind of disappointed. He sits there, but then he sees Omar radiallahu anhu coming. That's it, you know. Omar radiallahu anhu was sure to notice him. So he th- thinks, "Okay, maybe I'm gonna go and ask him a question, and then he will notice me surely and invite me for a meal." So he goes and asks Omar radiallahu anhu a question. Omar answers the question. and goes away <laughs> again he doesn't notice how hungry abu huraira radiallahu anhu and now again abu huraira is so disappointed you know man i the only reason i asked the question was not because i wanted an answer but because i was hungry and i was hoping he would notice me but he didn't so he went back and sitting on the road disappointed then prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam passed by And as soon as the Prophet Muhammad Sallam saw the face of Abu Huraira, he asked him, "Are you hungry, Abu Huraira?" And he said, "Come with me." He took him with him for a meal. Subhanallah. That was a Prophet Muhammad Sallam. He didn't just pass by people, ignoring them, or like you know, kind of half the attention here and half somewhere else. But he really saw people, what they're going through. When he heard people, he really heard. He really listened to them. He was really interested in hearing what they have to say. Not like yeah, yeah, hello, okay, yeah, you know. But I'm thinking about it like a thousand other things that are on my mind. No, of course, see, nobody's busier than him. He's so many things on his mind. Obviously, he's the leader of the city, the prophet of Allah. He has so many worries in his mind. He is so busy. So many people want to meet him. But when he met people. when he saw people when he talked to people he didn't just pass them by he saw them he really saw them he talked to them he was interested in them he really listened to them even children even children playing on the street when he would pass them by he would stop and say salams to them he would greet the children normally what would people say? ah it's just children who's going to greet the children right <laughs> it's children playing but the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave that respect even to the children he would say salams to them one of the companions who was very young at that time of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the prophet used to inquire about our pet bird how is your bird doing <laughs> the prophet of allah the chief of the city used to come and inquire about their bird that is how wonderful caring merciful our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was when he would talk to somebody he would actually turn his body towards the person talking to him giving them his full attention 
when somebody used to shake his hand, he would never be the first person to pull his hand away. Like, enough, you have shaken my hand enough. No, <laughs> he would let them hold their hand. That was the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He was a caring, kind, generous man towards everybody he met. Whether they were his friends, whether they were just strangers, or whether they were his enemies. Do you want to learn more about all these small stories and details about Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu life, which give us a glimpse on what kind of a man our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu was? You know, a lot of the time we study the seerah and study the big incidents in his life, and we miss out on these small details of what were the things that made him smile, what were the things that made him cry. What made him laugh? What made him angry? What? Who are his? You know, how was he with his friends? What did he do when he hangs out with his friends? How did he celebrate? So much more. If you do want to learn, so you can grow your love for the Prophet in your heart, make it stronger, so he is more beloved to you than anybody else, even your best friends. Then come and join me in as if you can see him course.